Welcome, my name is Deacon Sean Jacob and I'm president of the St. Augustine Seminary and Association. I'm currently in my last year of formation, which began seven years ago in Sarah House, and I'm studying for the Archdiocese of Toronto. We are here in the chapel today, which is the heart of the seminary, where as a community we gather here several times a day for a communal prayer and for Mass. It is here we are able to discern in the silence of our hearts. Today we have a gift from you from our seminarians and priest alumni. Songs from the seminary, music selections in the season of Advent. This presentation is intended to support our ongoing efforts to revitalize Sarah House, our House of Philosophy located in the downtown campus. Hope you enjoy the music today.
Hello and welcome. My name is David Rankin and I am a seminarian studying for the Diocese of Anaganish in Nova Scotia. I am in my third year of theology here at St. Augustine's Seminary and I helped with some of the organizing of tonight's program. So I'm very pleased to welcome you and that we can share with you songs from the seminary, music selections in the season of Advent. Our program will feature a variety of songs that celebrate Mary and coming to God, movement toward God. The song that I chose to sing is the Te Deum in Scottish Gaelic, which is a language that was spoken in my family. My grandfather was a native Gaelic speaker. And this version was composed by John the Baron MacDonald from my home parish of Mabu, Cape Breton. It was composed for, for Christmas and sung uh, even when the masses were in Latin, uh, they did sing this song in Gaelic. The part where it says, holy, 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 nuv, nuv, nuv. Uh, and that, that line reminds me of a recent trip over to Scotland where that was written on the Outer Hebrides, on the altars, nuv, nuv, nuv. Holy, holy, holy. And I just thought that that was a beautiful uh, expression of, of culture and faith uh, on the altar. So it's, it's a song that's very close to my heart and uh, as well as the language and the place it comes from. Our program tonight was prepared prayerfully. And so we hope you can join in a prayerful fashion uh, and follow along we have a booklet to discover the meaning of the songs.
and set the table. People the feast and seize the gate. Of the guest is on the way. Birds, so though ye long have ceased to build, are the nest that must be filled. Even the hour when wings are frozen, he for fledging time has chosen. People the peace that cease to days, of the bird is on the way. Stars keep the watch when night is dim. One more light a bow shall bring. Shining beyond the frosty weather, bright as the sun and moon together. People the peace that sees today, love the star is on the way. Angels announce to man and beast, he who cometh from the east, set every peak and valley humming with the word, the Lord is coming. People the peace that sees today, love the Lord is on the
We hope you enjoyed songs from the seminary, music selections in the season of Advent. To support our seminary, most especially Sarah has, please visit staugustinsomca slash donate. Hi, I'm Father Scott Bertrand. I'm the director of Sarah House, also known as the Discipleship Program here at St. Augustine Seminary. The Discipleship Program fits usually in the second year of formation at St. Augustine's. It typically follows spiritual year, and the focus of the Discipleship, while we cover spiritual, is human formation. I'd also like to welcome you to downtown Sarah House, which is currently under construction. One of the great benefits of Sarah House is that it's small in nature. Unlike the big seminaries of the past, the focus of Sarah House, especially in downtown, is that it creates a more smaller environment, more like a family-focused environment, which helps to foster not only vocations, but also human formations, and also as well as life skills. Men learn to take care of each other, foster fraternity, and also build those skills that will help them as future priests, both within the Archdiocese of Toronto and across Canada. Uh, many of the priests actually in the Archdiocese of Toronto and across Canada have actually gone through Sarah House, and many of them testify that the formation program and the training they received at Sarah House helped to foster the vocation, as well as strengthening them as they move forward towards priesthood. We'd also really like to thank those who have supported Sarah House in the past, and more recently, your support has been very graciously received and has done great benefits for the formation program out of the state. We'd also ask if you haven't donated yet and are considering donating to Sarah House, please consider doing so. Please pray over it and consider donating this year to help complete this great work in the Archdiocese of Toronto. We'd also like to welcome you all to the grand opening that will occur sometime in the spring. Again, we thank you for all your donations, for your prayers, and most surely for your support of both St. Augustine's and Sarah Hopes. May God continue to bless you, especially this Christmas season and throughout the whole new year.